hatching from its bed. I find a hollow coconut and listen for a sound. I got the smell of rope. Cousin Darren smells of airplane glue. Cousin Tracy smells of soap. That silly cow! Hey, listen, Daisy! I think you're absolutely crazy! No laughing matter! But of course, my brother knows that one as well. Do they pick their noses the same as you and me? Do they live with other people? Have they moms and dads? And were they ever children? I envy so the spots and boils that brighten your complexion. Even rats spit on my face. I envy so the spots and boils that brighten your complexion. Even rats spit on my face. Left no trace of infection. She bit off the head of the head. She said she was sad he was dead. He bled and he bled and he bled. Kicks the bricks, drops the sticks. Can't bark to six, is in a fix. Gets Mick and Rick to do its tricks. I can hear some children cry. Others laugh, but not I, for I'm waiting very quietly and feeling small and trunk. No one is here, a table, no one is chandelier. They're rooting in the corner, they're clacking in my ear. But my favorite part of every day was fighting the tide. My sister, my brother and I would build huge walls of sand, defenses against the battery of the tide's attack. Deliberately forget your birthday. I'll void you whenever possible. This pencil sees the best of me, the worst, and all the rest of me. And as I go through puberty, it changes all my poetry. And there the grass grows soft and white. And there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon rests from its fight to crawl into peppermint. Tell them I came and nobody answered that I kept my word. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow.